Welcome to Tayton Hill Air Ambulance Base, part of Midlands Air Ambulance. And welcome to this virtual open day, because unfortunately, COVID's meant that we can't have our open day this year. However, we've chosen the most amazingly wet, overcast, rainy, horrible day, so you'll be really glad it's virtual. Um, this is our aircraft. It's a Eurocopter 135, Golf Hotel Whiskey Alpha Alpha. Both of the jet engines are in the back cabinet. Each of them is powerful enough to keep the aircraft in normal flight should one of them have an issue. And that's part of the regulations for flying over built up areas, that it has to be a twin engine. Standard crew from here are three people. Uh, we have the pilot sits in the front right hand seat and then two clinical crew. The CCP sits in the front seat and their job is to ensure that we get to the right location. When the treble nine call is taken in the control room, they will plot that job and convert it into a grid reference. And we use an iPad to map where that job is. The rear seat is the comms person. So on the way to the job, they're using the radio to talk to control and to try and make sure that any updates that are important to the job um, we get on the way, try and work out exactly what it is that we're going to. Everybody on board has a responsibility to ensure that the aircraft is safe during flight. So we're all eyes out looking for any obstacles or dangers or other aircraft that may pose a risk. We all listen into air traffic control radio so that we have a, an understanding of the aviation side of things. So the bags are colour coded to make it easy for even us to get the right one at the right time. So we have a big red rucksack that is designed to have everything that we're likely to need within the first five or 10 minutes that is above and beyond what we would find on a standard NHS ambulance. We have a green bag and the idea of that is if we're first on scene and we need the kind of equipment that an ambulance bag would have, then we'll take the green one. We have a blue bag, which is the critical care transfer bag. And we have recently introduced a red uh, PPE bag that's full of all of the types of PPE that we might need on scene to cover any COVID eventuality. We travel at approximately 140 miles an hour ground speed. For ease of maths, we calculate two miles a minute, and that gives us time to include getting airborne and accelerating and arriving over scene and slowing down. So if we know the job is 35 nautical miles away, we're looking at a journey of about 17, 17 and a half minutes to the overhead. When we decide to fly a patient to hospital, we'll bring them back to the aircraft and the pilot normally helps us out. The front seat will rotate to face the patient. The bed slides out, both uh, out of the side of the aircraft and out of the rear of the aircraft. And that enables us to load the patient onto the bed and make sure they're securely strapped in. We can then slide the bed back in and slide the now rear facing seat towards that bed so that both of the clinicians can get hands on the patient and keep their eyes on the patient in flight on the way to hospital. So this aircraft can only take off with a maximum weight of 2,835 kilos. So we have to make sure that there's enough available weight from here to fly a patient. So an hour and a half's fuel duration is what we have. And that tends to give us at least two jobs worth of flight. However, we will never go out and do a job, come back and not refuel because we always want to be ready to go to the next job. So part of our role when we land on is to use the Bowser pull out the fuel line and the earthing cable and refuel the aircraft up to that maximum level of an hour and a half duration for our operations. That completes the tour of our helicopter. Thank you very much for watching.